Hi, my name is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and your number one source for real estate advice online. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In my channel, we talk about anything and everything related to real estate investing. I apologize for the background noise. I didn't realize this bridge is actually so loud, but I do love the surroundings. This is actually just literally two minutes from my home. So I just drove down here. I actually was gonna go through the thrift store tonight, but apparently we had a thunderstorm and there was a tornado. So everything on that island is pretty much shut down for now. So, so here I am, I'm gonna make a video. Instead. So I wanted to briefly tell you about another mistake that happened to me. So I'm trying to teach you about my mistakes. Yes, I do still make a lot of mistakes. I should have known this as all my videos about mistakes, but um, didn't know about it. So hopefully you guys will avoid that kind of mistake if you end up running into something like that. And it's, it's gonna be a really brief video because um, it's pretty obvious what happened here. So I had two tax sale foreclosures that I purchased about a year ago in Chatham County right here. And, and if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, I talk a lot about tax sale foreclosures because it seems like that's what a lot of people want to know about. So I kind of focus on that. But of course, you know, there's other topics as well. In any case, we have, um, I purchased two tax sale foreclosures about a year ago in Chatham County, Georgia. The redemption period was uh, nearly being up. I already made a video about one of the properties. And then the, um, this one property that actually redeem, ended up redeeming on the very, very last day. And um, this has happened to me before where the original owners came to me and they're waiting till literally the very last day. So preemptively, I tell my attorneys the kinds of tax sale foreclosures that are about to um, near the end of the redemption period so they can get their um, thoughts together and get the paperwork ready to get filed so that the original owners can be served by the sheriff and um, the advertisement is ran in the paper and in order to do the barring of redemption rights and um, previously I would wait till the redemption period is up before I contacted the attorney. These days I've kind of started to preemptively do this process but kind of tell the attorneys not to do anything until the redemption period is actually up. I have a very good attorney and they're being very overzealous I guess with their work and it ended up being that he's um, I told him about the end of this redemption period on this property about a week before the redemption period is up and they prepared the paperwork already and they were just waiting for um, the redemption period to be up before they would send everything in but in this case property redeemed on the very last day so the attorney already did all the work and um, even though I haven't given them the green light, I just given them a heads up, but they misunderstood me and they basically said, okay, we're good to go, we're, we're to press forward. And so on the last day, I contact my attorney immediately and tell him, hey, this property is redeemed. We're not doing a barring of redemption rights on this one. And my attorney is like, oh, okay, we'll just cancel everything that we've already started. Go ahead and send us $500 for the work that we've done so far. And I'm like, huh? By law, we're actually really not allowed to do anything on the property until the redemption period is up. This is for the state of Georgia. Of course, it works differently in other states, but I'm talking about specifically in Georgia, the law states that you really can't do any kind of action on the property until the redemption period is up. And so I really don't understand why this attorney did that. They're a Georgia attorney. They're licensed here and have um, practiced law here in the state of Georgia. They should have known this, but they kind of wanted to like uh, jump the gun a little bit and get ahead on the game. And um, there was a misunderstanding basically. They thought, they thought I said, go ahead. I said, I thought I said, uh, here's a heads up. We're not going ahead yet until the redemption period is up. And so here was our misunderstanding. But in my case, this misunderstanding would have cost me $500. And since the property redeemed for a very minimum amount, only made like $300 on it, I would have lost $200 on this property. So um, words of wisdom there. If you are nearing the end of the redemption period on a property you bought 
at a tax sale foreclosure in the state of Georgia, wait till the very last day and hopefully it's not too windy. Wait till the redemption period is all the way up before you do anything on it. And then once the redemption period is up, wait for the very last day to be over. That's when you contact the attorney. Don't worry about it. If they're a good attorney, they'll be they'll they'll get the paperwork together pretty quick. You're not gonna lose anything, losing a week or two, you've already been waiting for a year and a day. So uh, don't jump the gun on this one because you might get an overzealous attorney who wants to do everything really, really quickly and does all their stuff before you even give them the green light and then you end up having to pay them even though um, you're not getting the property and you're not making a whole lot. So, oh, as an update, um, I did mention this to my attorney and since I've worked with him quite a bit on a lot of foreclosures, um, they were pretty agreeable and basically said, yeah, don't worry about it. We're not going to charge you for anything. And sorry, we kind of jumped the gun on this one and redemption period wasn't even up. You didn't give us the green light. So no, we're not going to ask you to uh, pay the $500. Just forget about it. Um, the same attorney is doing a bunch of other stuff for me. He's doing some quiet titles, some barring of redemption rights on other properties. So he, was, he, he didn't want to anger me, I guess. Um, but if you have just an attorney that does just one tax sale foreclosure or um, barring of redemption rights or just one quiet title, they, they might not want to negotiate with you. So you want to establish a good relationship with the attorney that you're working with so that when mistakes like this happen, everybody gets back on the same page and acknowledges the misunderstanding. And for more tips like this, go to my website. It's at the bottom of this video juliamspencer.com. Subscribe to get your free guide to real estate investing today. Check out my ebooks and I hope to see you investing very successfully very soon. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.